opinions on the monarchy. The monarchy is our greatest asset ever. Every half-witted idiot that says they're costing us money, that calls them parasitical, not understanding the world, all these things, is a complete idiot, totally uninformed of how this country works. Scotland has had a monarchy for 2,347 years. The ancestors of the ancient Celtic kings, Re, capital R-I, yes, Rex, Latin. So we've got that royal Rex, Le Roi in France, although they've sadly failed themselves. So the monarchy, what does the monarchy do for us? brings us in two billion quid direct to the treasury to feed the homeless if the politicians would do it. Um, tourism. Tourism in this country is worth 210 billion pounds. Trade. We don't even know how much trade the monarchy brings in. Massive. The Queen's just paid 98 million pounds in tax to us the poor people. She gives us 75% of her income to us, the poor people, to feed the homeless and to feed the hungry and to feed the children if the government would do it, right? She has been an outstanding public servant for 70 years. She still does a full day's work. What else can I tell you about this incredible institution? It's Scottish. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. The Queen is our sovereign lady in Scotland and the head of state for Scotland. She has graciously granted the people parliamentary sovereignty. She retains ultimate sovereignty. So there's some opinions on the monarchy, plus it's self-financing. Her Majesty's office brings in 20 million quid through the Duchy of Lancaster. The Prince of Wales, the heir to the throne, brings in 20 million quid through the Duchy of Cornwall. And that finances all the office, the cars, the houses, the lot. Most of the palaces are state assets and are ours. Buckingham Palace was bought for five grand. What a buy that was. So there's a wee bit about the monarchy for you guys. Are you